Now, reporter Spencer Joseph was in Centerville with a look at how the campfire has impacted that area. We are at the Butte County Fire Station 27 in Centerville. Um, now, I wanted to show you the visual of this sign burned on the ground, um, but good news for this particular little area of Centerville. Uh, it's pretty much the only thing that has burned. Um, if we take a look around, the fire station itself is still intact. Um, and continuing to turn, you, you see uh, this very nice, beautiful home uh, right next to the fire station still standing. Um, you can see the black earth kind of around the area, uh, but definitely not as a uh, as severe as some other places up and down either Centerville Road or back down Honey Run. Um, you know, the, the drive up here is, is uh, spotty in terms of exactly where has burned, but right here it looks like, and even off to the other side of the road, you can see uh, some other homes off in the distance, which is good news uh, for them and those residents. Um, driving back um, a little bit this way towards the museum. Uh, we saw a lot of homes still standing, more so than in the Paradise area, obviously, and, and more so in, in other areas that we've seen. But um, along uh, Centerville Road, there are still a lot of homes that are destroyed, um, and back down Honey Run Road as well. Um, it, there's a lot of homes that are destroyed in that area as well. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's a tough um, call whether you know, these homes are still standing or not because you'll see five or, five or six homes that look perfect in every way and then you'll see 10 homes that are destroyed. Um, and it's interesting how the fire picks and chooses exactly what homes it burns or at least it seems like it does. Um, we're gonna take as much video as we can driving up and down these streets to show you exactly what's still standing and stop at landmarks like this one uh, to kind of give you an idea of, of in those areas what it looks like. Like, but uh, for now, back to you in the studio.